Okay guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to test from the switch to the fuse box. Let's pop this off here real quick. So take a look down here. Let's zoom in. Okay, what we're going to do is to make this simple because it's too hard to hold the camera and this is such a tight spot. Um, we're going to be showing you the fuses right up in here. The front washer and the rear washer fuse. I took my camera, my still camera, and I took some shots. And uh, we're going to refer to those through the next part of this video. So, testing from this fuse box over to the switch isn't that hard to do. There's other wires, like you see these connectors in here. And there's a bunch of connectors up here. We're going to show you the diagrams as well for those. And some of the connectors to get in here, you got to get the fuse this bolt off. This bolt, you got to take the fuse box out and reverse the fuse box. And on the other side, there's other connectors too as well. So it's a little more complicated than just looking at this. Like the, the, this is for easy access to change a fuse. But there's there's tons and tons of wires that go into this box. And we're gonna take the we're gonna explain everything to you in this video. So that way, if you ever have troubles and you don't have voltage at the switch, you can go into this box here, which is the fuse box inside the uh, car and trace the wires all the way back to the switch. The, there's, there's two main wires, two power feeds. There's also uh, many other feeds that come out of here behind the box to go to the to run the washer motor and the pump. So there's a ton of wires in here that has to be covered in order to understand the, the uh, window washer system. So let's go back to the computer and we will show you, I'll try to make this as simple as I can so you can understand this. So if you have this problem, you can run these tests and figure out your problem. So, Okay, now we're looking at the front uh, wiper and washer diagram. And you're going to see right here is uh, pins 10 IPG. And that runs down to pin 3 of the multi-switch. And that's going to be the orange wire. So what we need to do is if you are running a power test and you want to check out the... Uh, see here yep you want power to the switch you're gonna follow that orange wire through the through the dash all the way to the fuse box and you're gonna go find IPG connector at the fuse box so let's show you where the IPG connector is at the fuse box okay the IPG connector is located right here and we're gonna locate pins 10 and you'll see the orange wire coming out you're gonna put your test probe one of your leads uh, the banana clip lead of the power probe to that pin and run the uh, the tip of the power probe to pins 3 of the M32 connector which would be your multi switch which would be located right here and you're going to get continuity between that wire you can also uh, turn the key if you look up back at the wire diagram you see how it says hot in Sorry, hot in on, and it runs through the 25 amp fuse. It goes down, and then it heads to the left, and then it goes out of pin 10, and down to pin 3. So when you turn the key, you should have power running from pins 10 to 3. So you should be able to put the tip of the power probe on pins 3 of the multi-switch, which is the M32 connector. And when you do that, you should get a sound, or and you should get a voltage reading. Of 12, 12 volts. It could fluctuate a little, but it should be some power at that at that tip, at that pin. Now, um, let's we'll take a quick look at. Uh, let's look at the other part of the circuit. While we're in here, pins 12 IPE. If you look below the fuse, 25 amp fuse. We're gonna pull up the uh, chart for IPE. Okay, this is the chart for IPE. This is the connector. And this is where it's located in the fuse box. And we're going to locate pin 12, which is going to be an orange wire running out of pin 12. And it goes into pin 2 of the front wiper motor. So when we take off the, uh, the uh, when we go outside the car and we take off the cover and I get access to the front wiper motor in the next video, um, when we do the test in there, we're going to want to... Uh, look at the E21 connector and that E21 connector will be located right here as shown in the pictures 
and that's going to be the orange wire coming out of pin 2. So if we put our power probe banana clip on pin 2 of the front wiper motor and then we go in the car and we put our power probe tip on pin 12 of IPE on the fuse box you should get continuity between those two connections. If you don't then you have a short in the wire or a break in the wire between those two connections. That's assuming that you've already uh, tested the front wiper motor. Now I'm getting ahead of myself here but I'm just trying to explain to you fuse box feeds to each of the parts here. So that's going to explain, that's going to help you uh, understand how to read the diagram. So with key off you have grounds running through the whole circuit. When you turn the key on, power goes through pins 12 and 10 as shown here in the diagram and runs down to pins 3 and 5 sorry, pins 3 and 2. Pins 3 goes to the multi switch and pin 2 go to the front, wi front wiper motor. Now looking at the diagram, to understand these diagrams you'll see where it says IP junction box located here and then you'll see a uh, power distribution SD110-3 and you'll see these numbers IPE are the actual connectors the O stands for orange and the 2.0 stands for the gauge of the wire and the photo it says photo 2829 we're going to show you these photos right now so you understand how to read these diagrams in the service tech manual now if you don't have the service tech manual you can always go by these tutorials, I'm helping you out. But uh, to, uh, to get the access to this information, you actually have to go on to the Hyundai website and subscribe to a weekly or yearly membership. So anyway, let's take a look at photo 2829. Let's see what that is in the uh, components and locations of the service tech manual. Okay, right here is photo 2829, IP junction box. This diagram here is this on the picture. IPE which is pins 12 located right here that's where this is located in the diagram of photo 2829 and IPG in photo 2829 pins 10 is located right here let's pull up uh, the front wiper motor photo 23 and we're going to look for the E21 connector and pins 2 is located right here on this connector and we can go down and look at the whole box and there's uh, pins 4, pin 6, pins 5 and pins 3 but we're not concerned about that we will cover that later in another video and uh, let's, let's go actually look at the multi switch it's just photo 36 which obviously you've seen many times already I have it shown in the video but that's what it looks like and there's the diagram of the components and locations and you see where it says M32 that's the connector that connects to this box and then you got pins 1, 5, 4, 2 and 3 going into the uh, into the multi switch and over here at pin 7 which runs down to the front and rear washer motor so I hope you understand the diagram I'm trying to explain this to you guys to make it clear all the diagrams use the same concept throughout the manual so once you understand the diagrams, to understand actually how to test, this is pretty easy. Um, so that should pretty much cover it. So let's uh, let's go uh, back to the car and we will run a test. Now I'm going to show you something else really quick. Over here is a diagram of a fuse that I took apart with a razor blade and I took the test leads out. What you're going to want to do is if you don't have micro test leads, uh, take an old fuse and just break it apart and then insert the tips of the fuse into the fuse panel because that way you don't spread the female uh, contacts. Because if you start jamming things into the fuse box, you might not have a, a good contact the next time you try to insert the fuse. So to prevent that from happening, just, just take apart a fuse and use the tips to allow the probe into the fuse box. So I just showed a picture of it with a penny so you could see what it looks like with a fuse that's been taken apart. So that's how you'd want to probe into your fuse box if you need to go in directly where the fuse plugs in. So I have uh, those little needles, those little micro test leads that are smaller diameter than the tips of those fuses. So I use those, but 
This is for guys that don't want to go out and buy extra equipment. You can just use the uh, a disassembled uh, a fuse that's taken apart and insert it into the fuse box. So, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go back to the fuse box and we need to find out by looking at the fuse box right here. We need to find out which side is power and which side is ground. Or what I'm saying is which side does the main power feed into and which side does the, uh, the fuse go up to the switch. So looking at the front of this fuse box, you see a fuse. It's got two ends on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your power probe on. It's connected to the battery. And you're going to turn the key to the on position. And you're going to take your uh, disassembled fuse, insert the tip into the fuse box. And you're going to get a reading on one end with the key on. And you should get power uh, sound with the key on. Now, if the one you don't get power on is the one that goes to, goes to the switch. So uh, upon testing this, uh, I found out that this lead right here, I'm pointing to it, it's highlighted, is the one that goes to the battery, and this one over here goes to the multi-switch, the M32 connector. So just so you know, the uh, like the power goes into the fuse, goes back into the fuse box, goes throughout the wiring, and comes out those, uh, those two connectors there. Let's see here, let me pull up the diagram again. And uh, when it goes through the fuse box, inside the fuse box, it splits, like you see here, and comes out pins 10, IPG, over to pins 3, and then it comes out pins 12, IPE. Two separate connectors, but they both feed internally in the fuse box to share power from that one fuse at 25 amps. So there you go, guys. So that's how you do the testing for the... Uh, from the multi-switch to the fuse box. So I hope this clarifies. If you guys have any questions, just post them. Uh, you can also head over to Hyundai Forums. Um, my uh, name is also known as I Kill Barbie. And I'm more than glad to help you guys out with any, any questions that you have about your Hyundai. And like I said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. In the next video, we're going to try to cover the uh, three-door uh, wire diagrams. We're also going to cover power distribution circuit, installation of the covers, and uh, well, it's, that pretty much sums it up. So uh, please head over to my channel, subscribe, leave a comment, and look for more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.